It's January 9th, 2019, and it's time for your very first housing market update of the year. Welcome to The Real Estate Show, where we talk all things buying, selling, and market related. Colton and Thomas here to help you out with anything you need in the greater Las Vegas area. And right now, this is gonna be our very first market update of the month, okay? This is a huge report, but all we're gonna talk about right now is single family residential homes. We have some awesome stats. We don't wanna bore you to death, but we're gonna tie it all in and what it means for you as a home buyer and as a home seller, okay? So the first number we wanna talk about is right here, the median price. If you can see down here, I know you're a little fur, far away, it went up 10% over the last year. So if you're a home seller or you own a home and you haven't checked you know, the value of your home recently, it might be something you want to check into because it's possible it went up by 10 even, you know, even more. All right, what we're gonna go over next here is effective availability. Basically what this means is if no more homes were to be listed from this point forward, we would have 3.1 months of homes left. So what does that mean in comparison to what's normal? We have three months right now. What's a healthy number? What should we have? How much? So in have? an average market, kind of across the board, across the country, right about six months would be a typical, what we call a healthy market. We can see here 3.1 months, that's gone up over 100% from this time last year. What this basically means is homes are not selling at the rapid pace that they were this time last year, or summertime last year when we were just doing gangbusters. Something I think that's super important, over 100%, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's a huge number. Sellers last year got completely spoiled. Put the house on the market, even if it was a little bit unreasonable in price. Offers coming in, multiple offers, offers wars. So sellers, it's not a bad time to sell. It's a normal time to sell, right? It's even still three months, we should be at six months. It's still a good time to sell. So don't compare it to last year because that was a whole nother world. We were in la la land and it, you know it was a short thing that happened right exactly what about buyers what does this all mean if you are a buyer coming into this market now? right so if you are looking to buy a home right now this is very good news for you because it means that if you put an offer on a property chances are a lot less likely you're gonna get involved in a multiple offer situation like we were seeing last year uh, where you put up an offer on a home and five, six, seven or more offers would come right on behind you. And it really caused a lot of people interested in purchasing a home to kind of get a bad taste in their mouth because they're competing with everybody. We're seeing a lot less competition in terms of those multiple offer situations right now. So if you are looking at buying a home, prices are still on the rise, of course, but you're gonna have less competition in the market and a lot higher likelihood of actually securing the home that you want. Exactly. As always, we are here to help you if you are in need of some guidance of how your home should be priced. This is Colton. I'm Thomas once again. This will be coming to you every single month. This has been The Real Estate Show, and if you have any more questions about the market, please, please, please feel free to reach out to us. Take care, guys. Until next time.